Damian Lillard's situation is even worse than we thought. Not only is his team gonna miss the play-in, but they may shut him down the rest of the year. A star having his best season while healthy might be forced to quit. But even if that doesn't happen, the Blazers failed again to build a contender. Dame's loyalty is well known, but something big is about to happen. The team's plan is becoming clear, and this offseason, Dame's career will change forever. Despite trying to win, the Blazers won't even make the play-in. This after making trades to improve, bringing in Jeremy Grant, Gary Payton, who barely played. They hoped that would improve their defense. They ranked 29th out of 30 under the old coach. Now, they're 27th. They've also lost the most games while leading by 10 points or more. 17 times. Think about that. Last year, they tanked because Dame was hurt, got the number seven pick. This year, they could draft higher despite trying to win. On top of all that, Dame has never been better. Career highs in points, free throw attempts, and efficiency. But is Dame about to demand a trade? Oh no, not after what he said to J.J. Redick. He and J.J. trash talked about the perception of trade demands. Someone couldn't win a ring and they go team up with a superstar, another superstar and when they win it, it gets discredited. So the discourse Or they go this, and don't win it. Yeah. And, and now they look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that also. So, yeah, and now they talk you've worse. Had, you've had but here's the thing, Dame. You're not like all those other superstars. People will not judge you like them for demanding a trade. Stephen A. Smith is begging him to leave so bad he can't even talk. Yeah, they, uh, you, should be, you should be gone from there. You should be gone from there. He should have done this a few years ago. He should have been left that organization. But he won't to be loyal. But it's not loyalty, it's stubbornness. But first, today's sponsor is so rare. A bunch of people joined my free league, which I am super grateful for. We're almost at a thousand people in this league. So it is tough to win this thing. I wanna shout out who is in first place. But so rare is a fantasy sports game and a marketplace with officially licensed digital player cards from the NBA. So you own and build your teams by buying, selling, collecting, and trading cards to compete with them in fantasy games just like a general manager. So shouts to Puskas71, who won last week, and sorry to clients, by the way, who barely lost. But I have a special announcement. Week 44 is here. The winner of my limited contender tournament wins a $100 NBA gift card. And yes, week 44 is here. So if you're not in a limited competition, you cannot win. But the good news is we have two more chances coming up later in the season. So use my link in the description to sign up for Soul Rare. Join my Soul Rare NBA Private League. If you sign up using that link, you'll receive 20 free common cards to help you get started. Then you can enter my common pickup tournament. But if you want a chance at prizes like that NBA store gift card, you have to join the limited contender tournament. Again, use the link in the description to get started today. No modern star has ever stayed with a team like this. Oh, there have been one team stars, but Dame is showing a level of blind loyalty we have never seen. This is a list of modern superstars to stay with one team. Highlighted are the superstars with zero championships. You could say the only people like Dame are John Stockton and Reggie Miller, but they're not. The difference is Dame will be the only one to never make a finals. Every other star had a legit chance to win. The Jazz and the Pacers successfully built a contender around John Stockton and Reggie Miller. We know Utah made back-to-back -back finals against the Bulls. The Pacers lost in the finals to the Lakers. Dame, on the other hand, has made one conference finals and got swept. He hasn't had an all-star teammate since LaMarcus Aldridge in 2015. Is that loyalty or stupidity? Even Dirk, who won late in his career, at least went to the 06 finals. But Dame, is not as loyal as he wants you to think. He has posted cryptic things on his Instagram, like, how long should I stay dedicated? Or, loyalty has an expiration date. He gave an interview where he said, man, this just isn't gonna work. We're not winning the championship. We have positive seasons, we just don't win. So at this point, I basically made the decision, if you do what you've always done, you'll always be where you've always been. That's a lot of words, but obviously, he is conflicted, as he should be. No one would blame him. No star has ever stayed this long with a team that had no chance. Him and JJ saying people disrespect stars teaming up, 
That's not Dame. No one is going to be mad at Dame leaving Portland at this point. But everything is about to change very soon. After this offseason, Dame's career will never be the same. This summer, the Blazers will either pull off the greatest trade in team history or fully commit to a rebuild. If another star is going to leave his team, the Blazers can get him. There is one superstar who would almost guarantee Dame a ring. It's a good thing Portland isn't better this season because if they made the playoffs, their pick would have gone to Chicago, part of the Larry Nance trade. Instead, they get to keep their draft pick, which has a 9% chance to be number one as of now. That is very close to the best odds in the NBA. The worst teams are just 14% at number one. I will say that again. The Blazers have almost as good a chance as anyone to get Victor Wimbanyama. This could actually happen. They also have the Knicks pick from the Cam Reddish trade. They also have a ton of second round picks from Golden State for Gary Payton. So this summer, the Blazers are loaded. They can snag any star who becomes available. This is finally the off season where everything changes. So who might that star be? The realistic names are like, you know, Bradley Beal, maybe a Jimmy Butler, but the dream of dreams is Joel Embiid. I know it sounds crazy, but imagine this. The Sixers get embarrassed in the playoffs. Not only has Embiid never passed the second round in his career, but James Harden leaves for Houston. The Blazers make a godfather offer. Anthony Simons, Shaden Sharp, the number, I don't know, two pick maybe, and tons of other draft picks and swaps for Embiid. At that point, Philly is gonna have to decide, do we take the greatest offer we're ever gonna get or run it back and make the sixth seed? It's a tough choice. Plan B, if they can't get a star this offseason, is to add high-level role players like an OG and an OB. Would a lineup of Simons, Dame, OG, Jeremy Grant, and Nurk contend? No, but it would probably make Dame happy. But plan C is for Dame to quietly ask out. Now he has to ask out, okay? The team can't just trade him without his blessing. That would be way too cold-blooded after how loyal he has been. But where would Dame go? The key to answering this is you have to find a team that has enough assets to trade but still be a contender. That was the beauty of Phoenix getting KD. They traded for him but didn't have to give up Devin Booker. So the teams that can do this are like a Philly or a Miami. We've heard some rumors about how New York wants to make a big trade. Look, I realistically don't think Dame on the Knicks is gonna be a contender, but the Sixers could trade a Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey plus picks. The Heat deal Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson plus picks. Remember, Dame will eventually be 36 years old, making over $60 million. So because of that contract, he is not gonna demand the same high package as like a young superstar. Now, the only way New York gets in this conversation is if another star wants to join Dame there. We've seen this happen with Kawhi and Paul George going to the Clippers, KD and Kyrie going to the Nets, but the Knicks have enough trade assets and cap space to bring in two stars. There is a world where they keep Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle while adding Dame and another star. But the other star on New York's radar should be Jalen Brown. There are reports he's not totally committed to the Celtics because they aren't fully committed to him. After Jalen helped them to a finals, he was in trade rumors for KD three months later. If he doesn't make an all NBA team this year and therefore could get a supermax in Boston, there is a real chance he leaves. Even the Kings are competing at a high level this year. If that's not depressing to Dame, I don't know what is. No offense, by the way, to the Kings. But you know what depresses me is that I make a Kings video, but no one clicks on it. I mean, people say they want videos about small teams. Do they really? Prove me wrong. Check it out.